Are you trying to get more matches on dating apps? Then this might be the most important video that you ever watch. I'm gonna talk you through how to get swipe worthy dating photos so that you can get more matches on Tinder, Hinge, and Bumble. You'll have more matches than a professional candle lighter by the end of this video. Yeah, baby! <laughs> I'm a professional photographer and I know how to get the best pictures. So I'm gonna be able to help you out here. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do in your pictures is actually smile. See these big gnashers that you have at the front of your face? Show them off. Or if you don't know how to use that, just go for a pursed lip smile. Why don't you ever model for me? Let's talk about the difference that this is actually gonna make in your pictures. If you're frowning or grimacing or doing some silly pose in every single picture, you're just gonna look like a grumpy shite. Nobody wants to swipe for a grumpy shite. Then you smile, show off those big beautiful teeth that you got. Or maybe if you're the type of person that says, I don't know how to smile, or I don't have a good smile. <laughs> Shut up. Yes, you do. Oh, I love you. Everybody's got a nice smile. You just have to learn how to do it. Smile, you son of a bitch. Having a great smile is more than just about showing your teeth or moving your lips up. It's actually about showing the emotion of happiness on your face. It's very easy to spot whenever someone's trying to fake that. I feel pretty and witty and gay. Learn to smile. Now the next thing that we need to talk about is group pictures. They're great if you have them and you definitely want to include these, but you want to use them sparingly. If you have too many group pictures or all of your pictures are group pictures, then you're gonna to have to get that other person to try and figure out which person is you in your pictures. And nobody has time for that whenever it comes to dating apps. You wanna make sure that you're actually showing you as your front and center picture. But that said, it's actually great to have some group pictures and I definitely recommend including these. It's good social proof to show that you actually have some mates. The next thing we need to talk about is filters. These are an absolute no no. You know the ones that I'm talking about, the stupid Snapchat filters. They're not cute, they're not funny, they're not gonna get you a date, never mind the match. We're not trying to catfish anybody here, so there's no point in trying to cover up what you look like. Whether you're happy with your appearance or not, do not use a filter. You wanna show off what you actually look like. Now, unless you're an identical twin, you're gonna have something that's very unique to you, your face. You don't wanna hide it behind your phone in every single picture. The mirror selfie is always a very common one that I see. See that pretty girl in the mirror there? What mirror where? People can't see your face, they don't know what you look like. It's an immediate swipe left. People wanna build up a picture of your face. They don't want to try and play a guessing game to study whether or not you look good. So why not just let the world see that pretty face of yours? Now the next thing that we need to talk about is how you want to use videos in your dating apps. If you can, try and show off something that actually reflects your personality or makes you come across a little bit funny or interesting. Something's going to ask a question. Remember as well, the dating app's about you. You want to actually show off you as the subject in the video, if you can. Let's use an example. So say you actually like going hiking. Try and get a video of you hiking rather than just a random video of some mountain range that doesn't show you at all. You want to be in the video. Now that kind of covers everything, but the final thing and probably the most important thing is getting that leading picture right. Your leading picture is gonna be the first picture that this person lands on whenever they see your profile. So you wanna make sure that it's your absolute best picture that you have of yourself. Now this might sound really obvious, but you'd be surprised at the amount of people that actually just throw up any old picture. That's just gonna get you an immediate swipe no. You wanna try and use a picture that's got you from your best angle and the best lighting and just showing you living your best life, really. People on these apps are extremely fickle and they really don't have a lot of time. As soon as they see something that they don't like, they're gonna swipe away. Don't give them that chance. Make sure that your first picture is the best picture that you have. So as a final bonus, if you followed all these steps and you're still struggling to get a match afterwards, then what I do recommend is actually reaching out to a professional photographer. Some professional headshots will actually go a long way. A photographer will know how to take the best angles, best lighting, and just capture you living your best life. So definitely recommend reaching out to a pro if you're still struggling to do it yourself. Feeling that, feel free to send your profile through to me and I'll have a look and give you some tips and pointers as to how I think you can fix your profile and hopefully get you onto the road of getting some matches and maybe finding some love. If you find this video helpful, be sure to drop me a like and subscribe to this channel and I'll give you some more tips on photography. See you soon.